give epinephrine every three to five minutes during CPR to improve cardiac output and coronary perfusion. When an advanced airway is in place, provide continuous chest compressions without pauses for ventilation. Be aware that the tongue can obstruct the airway in a supine, unconscious patient. Tension pneumothorax causes hypotension and respiratory distress, characterized by distended neck veins, absent breath sounds, and tracheal deviation. Fetal monitoring during maternal cardiac arrest is discouraged to prevent distractions from essential maternal resuscitation efforts. Early administration of epinephrine in cases of non-shockable rhythms is associated with improved resuscitation outcomes. Cuffed endotracheal tubes are suggested for patients of any age requiring intubation to minimize air leaks and tube exchanges. The routine use of cricoid pressure during intubation is no longer recommended. Patients with tricyclic antidepressant overdose often present with an anticholinergic toxidrome and are at risk of ventricular arrhythmias, seizures, and coma due to sodium channel blockade. Diltiazem is a reasonable consideration as a first-line alternative to adenosine for converting stable PSVT. The American Heart Association has incorporated a sixth link, recovery, into the chains of survival for both in-hospital cardiac arrest and out-of-hospital cardiac arrest to emphasize the importance of psychological support, rehabilitation, and discharge planning for cardiac arrest survivors. Debriefing for lay rescuers, EMS providers, and healthcare workers after resuscitation is recommended for mental health support. For newborns who haven't responded to resuscitation efforts after 20 minutes, termination of resuscitation can be considered. Real-time audiovisual feedback is suggested to maintain CPR quality. Maintaining an end tidal carbon dioxide of at least 10 mm of mercury, and ideally 20 mm of mercury or greater, suggests adequate cardiac output and effective chest compressions. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.